All right, so it opened up with Cody coming out, and he says that he's got uh, multiple announcements. One is there will be a men's breakout tournament. Two, there's going to be another Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And third, he is the GM tonight. So Ily Dragunov comes out, and he's talking to Cody, and he's interrupted by Dominic. And Dominic wants a shot at the NXT title. And Cody says, so let me get this right. You're not going to put the NXT title on the line? North, North American. American title? And Rhea says, nah, he doesn't need to defend it. So Cody says, all right, well, the NXT title match is official. And he says, since the Judgment Day likes to play the numbers game, this match needs a special referee. But it is not myself. It will be, and I quote, the hottest star in WWE, L.A. Knight. So he was announced for that match. Place went nuts for that one. We had Asuka versus Roxanne with Shotzi showing up to do commentary. She announced that her and Scarlett are the uh, hosts of Halloween Havoc Night 1. And the match was good, but the finish was just like, it was anticlimactic. They just did this match, and all of a sudden, Asuka put her in the Asuka lock. Roxanne escaped. She got booted and pinned. And, and then spin, Asuka bowed well, to her spin, afterwards. Spinning back fist and spinning kick. Yeah. And the announcers very clearly made the point that Asuka is still undefeated in her NXT career. She has never lost in NXT. So they're going to build up Becky Lynch and Asuka? I don't know. They made a big deal out of that one. Like, we're going to be seeing something at some point based on the fact that she's never lost in NXT. No, that's the one that makes sense, then. We had uh, Tyler Bate and Butch and Ridge versus Gallus in a pub brawl. So this was a hardcore match. They had... Never seen bowling balls in a pub, but I guess it's possible. I think there'd be a bowling alley. But they had darts, and they had tables, and beer, and just a hardcore match, but it was good. And finally, they did try the triple submission with a pool cue as a cross face at one point, and then Ridge got the table, which everybody went crazy for. And finally, Pete breaks a mug of beer over Joe's face. Pete snaps the fingers. They triple powerbomb him through the table. And the glass, and they win. So it was exactly as advertised. It was fun for what it was. Mm -hmm. We had a Becky Lyra video package. And then... This was a really good video package. It was a good video package, but the interview afterwards was so weird. So Lyra's being interviewed about her upcoming match with Becky at Halloween Havoc. And Tegan shows up. And Lyra says, you did a hell of a job on Monday. You almost got her. And Tegan says, I know. She says, I was seconds away from beating Becky on Raw. And I don't want to do this to you, but your title match is going to have to wait. I was like, what? And Lyra said, what? And she said, sorry, I mean, you didn't get the job done. Like, this is the biggest match of my career, and you're not going to get in my way. And she left, and Tegan was all angry. So apparently Tegan thought she could just waltz in and take her title match. Yep. That was bizarre. she going heel? I mean, it was a heel move, yeah. Sure was. Maybe, maybe she is. And we had John Cena come out to just kiss the ass of the fans for a long time, but they ate it up. They loved it. And then Braun comes out, and the fans chanted, uh, they sang Braun Breaker Sucks to Cena's music, which Cena thought was great that they changed the words. And then Braun's doing this promo. He said, the people didn't come to see you. And Cena says, you know, you're a gifted guy, but your attitude is the problem. I'm excited for your match tonight. I just want to wish you good luck. He offers a handshake. Braun punches him instead. He goes for the spear, but Cena avoids it, goes for the AA. Braun bails. That sets up the main event for later. Boy, these fans sure were happy to see John Cena in the uh, Performance Center. Mm -hmm. Don't see that every day. No. Then we had uh, Tony D and Stax meet with Cody, and they're trying to explain this cockamamie match to him. And he has no idea what they're talking about. So then Stax has to break it down to you even further. There's going to be a battle royal. Ten-team battle royal next week. If one guy gets thrown out, they both have to leave. Mm -hmm. When it comes down to two guys, the they match stops. They then they have a regular tag match. And the winner will get a shot at Halloween Havoc. And once they explain it better, Cody says, all right, it's on for next week. That's like I it said, it's like, like one of his dad's ideas. Yes. Ilian Dom with L.A. Knight as referee. So I will say. So they did a Corbin promo first where, um, you know, he, I mean, they're, they're setting up He wants Corbin. to know why Ilya's hiding from him. Yeah. So uh, every Ilya match that we've seen in NXT has always been the other guy has to do Ilya's match. This match, Ilya had to do a Dominic Mysterio match. Total WWE main roster style. I mean, it wasn't bad, 
but it wasn't like beat the shit out of this guy and then he no, beats the shit out of you or anything like that. It was none of that. No, it was a, a very normal match. Yes. So Ely ends up hitting the H-bomb. Finn Balor hits the ring. L.A. beats him up. J.D. hits the ring. L.A. beats him up as well. Rhea tries to interfere. Trick grabs her, pulls her off the apron, and then Ely hits the running headbutt and gets the pin. So after the match, Baron Corbin comes out, but Dijak jumps Ely from behind, and they have a stare down, and Dijak says, I beat you to it. He's mine. We had a meeting with Cena and Carmelo in the back. And Carmelo, Trick walks up to introduce himself, and then Melo says, Trick, listen, I'm sorry about not being there next week. And Trick says, don't worry about it. John Cena's here. Let's talk to John Cena. And Melo says, yeah, you know, tonight I'm going to win that NXT title. Not tonight. And uh, He's going he's gonna to win the match. He's going to get a shot yes. at the NXT title. Yeah. And then we're going to get your uh, your NXT North American, North American title. title. Well. And, and, and Trick was unhappy because I think he thinks he wants to win the NXT title himself. Well, it was Zad, and it was also it was kind of an afterthought by Carmelo that oh yeah we're also going to get your belt there. So yeah. anyway, when he leaves, Trick is clearly not happy, and Cena goes, "What's what's going on?" And Trick says, "John, when did you know it was your time?" And Cena says, "Let's go talk." We had a hidden camera footage of Paul Heyman trying to talk to Ava. That was interesting. Yeah, does that mean that they're going to bring her up in in that in that? I mean, I get, look, she's in the family. Yeah, she sure is. Think about that. They want The Rock. They want The Rock. I mean, they do favors for The Rock. They got Nia Jax back. But yeah, yeah, I mean, she's in the family. I could see. And she can talk. She just is not a wrestler. Then we had uh, Jade show up, met with Shawn Michaels, showed up fashionably late. We never saw her again. Cody meets with uh, Baron Corbin, and essentially he is signed uh, Dijak versus Baron Corbin versus the winner of Braun and Mello tonight. They will end up getting the shot at Elia at Halloween Havoc. That's coming up next week. We had Lola Vice beating Danny Palmer. and This uh, was not good. No, it was not, Dave. It was it not. Very, uh, both very, very green. They both need someone else to lead. Um, but I think Lola Vice and, um, um, Dan- and um, not Danny Palmer, but the... Um, uh, Kalani Jordan are going to be the, the finalists in this tournament. That would certainly be my guess. Yeah. JC has now joined Chase U, but she's a troublemaker. And yeah. so uh, she says, Andre, we're going to have so much fun in class. But then when she looks away, she scowls. Doesn't want to be there. Yeah. So she's she was causing trouble. She was like uh, on her cell phone. And then this blonde haired dude was on his cell phone. And Andre Chase took the cell phone and threw it against the wall. And bust his cell phone and start swearing at him and everything but then jc on the cell phone that was when she found out that duke and andre were in the battle royal next week so then he was happy turns out those phones aren't so bad yeah was the lesson paul Heyman went with braun did the paul Heyman speech putting him over saying he could see his future and it was braun breaker in the main event of wrestlemania the only thing in his way was carmelo hayes we had a brian pillman jr video package and he said, my father was one of the most infamous superstars in the business. Everywhere I go, people stop me. They say, man, I loved your dad. He was such a trailblazer. He says, everybody has fond memories of my father, except for me. I lost my father when I was four. I didn't even know him. And you think being a WWE superstar is the last thing I'd want to do? Well, it was. I tried everything, but I can't escape it. It's in my blood. So I must inflict pain on the business that brought me so much grief. He says, when people see my face, I don't want them to think of my dead father. I want them to think about me. I'm nobody's junior, (laughs) so I'll take the last name. They would not allow him to be the junior. I'll take the last name of the man who raised me. His last name was King. Yeah. And so apparently he's going to be Brian King. No. uh, um, I know they trademarked that, but he said nothing about his first name. I think Lexus King, so so he can um, honor his... um, Stepsister. Hmm. Well, there you go. Who 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 was tried to get into pro wrestling and um, died in a car accident when she was twenty six. His older stepsister. Yeah. So Lexus King. Yeah. Apparently will be the name. Or half sister actually. We had a uh, bunch of women meeting with Asuka. Fallon and Tiffany had a confrontation, and then the main event was uh, Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes, Cena and Heyman at ringside. So Braun beats him up during the break, and then finally Braun decides to try a five-knuckle shuffle, which did not work out for him. He got super kicked. 
And then uh, Braun, they did a botched spot off the top, but it almost turned into a code breaker, so it kind of got saved. And then uh, Braun tried to take the steps apart, but Cena pulls him away and punches him. And then Solo Sokoa shows up, and he and Cena brawl to the back. So Carmelo hits a code breaker on the floor. He throws Braun in the ring, hits nothing but net, and pins him. So then Braun jumps up after the match and takes out Carmelo. And he grabs a mic and he says, win or lose, there is only one badass in all of WWE. So, of course, the lights go out. Undertaker shows up as the American badass. Kid Rock song. He's got the motorcycle, the whole nine yards. Gets in the ring, get the holy shit chant. Braun says, listen, old timer, there's only one badass around here and it's me. And Taker says, I've been watching you for a long time. One day you're going to be a very special talent, but that day is not today. And so he punches him, hits the big choke slam. People chant Undertaker's name, and then he says, there's only, there's always an older, bigger, badder, badass waiting around the corner. You just met the baddest of them all. And that was the end of the show. So Carmelo Hayes will be facing uh, uh, Dijak and, and Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin with the winner getting Elia next week. So, oh, the uh, winner getting Elia in uh, the week after. Halloween Havoc, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's two weeks of Halloween Havoc. I guess yeah, it's it could a two-week week. show. Yeah. So that was the NXT show. Lots happened on it. Mm-hmm. Good and bad. Did we have Rampage? Did they um, tape? They did tape Rampage, yeah. Do, do you, you have it? Do you have them, or do I have to try and find I did, them here? I, 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 um, you're going to have to try to find them, because I didn't bring it with me. Because I actually don't see the Rampage... Spoilers anywhere. If you want, I can go get them. Why don't you go get them? Okay, I'll be right back. And we'll tell you. I'll tell you right here, everybody, what's going on with Halloween Havoc here. If we have it. Next week's NXT, for those of you wondering, we have got uh, Carmelo Hayes versus Dijak versus Baron Corbin. Winner gets the title match at Halloween Havoc. What they are calling the Bada Bing Bada Boom Battle Royal. This was the one that had to be explained multiple times to Cody. Ten teams. If one guy gets thrown out, the whole team is gone. Last two teams, square off. Winner of that, that's Dave's printer going, by the way. Winner of that gets the title match at Halloween Havoc. And Tegan Knox and Lyra will be facing off next week. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute... As noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer Archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.